Hello, uh, this video is about establishing control on site on a small site where you're not given any controls already. So you go to the site and there's nothing for you um, to come from, no control, no coordinates, anything. So for example, you have a site like this. It is next to another adjacent property, say like house number 25, your house number 7, and there's a house 29, say next um, to you. And they've demolished this house 27 and they want to redevelop it and build again. And you have no control, there's no stations, there's nothing given. But what the architect has told you, for example, will tell you the distance between this house and this house, for example, should be 1.5 meters. And for example, I want this house to either line up, so let's say he wants to line up with the next door house, make it easier. So what he's telling you, I want this face of the building to line up with this face of the building, and I want to be one and a half meter here, and for example, I want to be four meters here between these houses. And that is all the information you have for setting up, say, this rectangular building. So for example, let's assume that the overall distance is, say, 20 meters, for example, by 10 meters. That is your square building in the cellar, 20 meters, 10 meters. And let's say that you do check and the distance between them is exactly 25, 20, 24, 25.5, 25. And you verify that the distance between the two houses is 25.5, so these will actually work. If it didn't, you go and tell the architect, hang on, I can't achieve that. I can either achieve this one, but I won't achieve that one or achieve this one, I have to reduce this one. What do you want me to do? Either this is too much, therefore I'm getting more, or the distance is too little, I have to reduce one of these. So let's say assume you've done it and the distances are correct. Now what you do, the first thing you do, you establish a coordinate system for, the, for your own building. So for this one, let's say this, I call that point A, point B, point C, and point D. So establish a coordinate system, point A, B, C, and D, easting and northing. A, I give it, for example, easting 100 meters and northing of 200 meters. B will have the same easting, would be 100 meters, and the northing would be 200 plus 10, would be 210 meters. C will be easting of 100 plus 20, would be 120 meters and northing would be 200, sorry, 210. And D would be 120, and the northing 200. So, the first thing I do, I establish the control, uh, based on the dimensions of the drawing, I establish a coordinate for the four corners of the building, and I'll write them down here. And then I will work out the coordinate for this corner. This corner, the easting will be 1.5 less, therefore it will be 98.45. So if I call this point E, and this point here, F, E will have easting of 98.5 and the northing of 200. And F will be uh, 124 and northing of 200. So based, once I've decided on the uh, coordinates for the corners of the building, I can work out the coordinates for these two, because I've already decided that's 100, plus 20, 120, plus 4, 124, and they're supposed to be in line, therefore the northing will be the same. And now, what I do now, I go set up somewhere on site, for example, I set up here, anywhere on site, physically possible, on this side, that side. And I'll do a free station. So I'll put, a, I'll put one of these retro targets, I'll peel one off, and I'll stick in the corner of this building, or I'll get my chamber to hold it on the corner of the building, 